when you speak about cultural evolution, you take something that is succeeded in one place, you modify it and adjust it, and the lesson is that in all those conflicts you have to involve the people because without the people it's not going to work. Welcome to the Charney Resolution Center. Today, we're speaking with Dr. Sapir Hendelman, a co-laureate of the Peter Becker Award for Peace and Conflict Research. The, the most thing, important thing is to try to, to start pushing the train of peace forward, that people will speak about it to do it. Then we can speak about the details. You know, in South Africa, to establish CODESA, for two years they negotiate talks about talks, how it's going to work and how it is going to be the decision-making process. Let's get to this position and you know we just put something on the table. So what are you going to talk about today? I'm going to speak about a revolutionary peace process, how to create a peacemaking revolution in the Israeli-Palestinian situation. A revolutionary peace process? What do you mean by that? I'm meaning that one of the missing components in almost any peacemaking initiative is the involvement of the people. Our idea is to establish a major Israeli-Palestinian public negotiating congress that can involve the people and press the leadership to reach agreements. Have you already tried to do a congress of this type? Yes, we've been doing experiment of small-scale Israeli-Palestinian public negotiating congress in different locations to demonstrate the peacemaking power of a major congress with political power. We took Israeli delegation, Palestinian delegation in front of audience. We give them five sessions to reach peace agreements. How were the results? Do you expect them? No, I was surprised because I couldn't believe that in such congresses people reach agreement. And it's turned out that <laughs> almost every congress they, 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 they succeeded to reach agreements. And this includes people from all the political spectrum. However, if, it's not, if it is not going to develop and to evolve into a major public negotiating congress when representative of the Israelis and representative of the Palestinians, let's say 120 delegates, are sitting in front of the Israeli and the Palestinian public and negotiating peace to involve the people, it's, not going, it's going to die like almost any peacemaking initiative. So why is it important for you to be here in the Charney Resolution Center? First of all, it's an educating, it's an educating um, center for kids. And education, education, education is very important. And second, it's an honor. Leon Charney is a is very well-known peacemaker. So it's my honor and pleasure to be here. See you next time at the Charney Resolution Center. Peace means taking into account the dignity of other people and the fact that there are other people who have certain rights.